Welcome to my channel. Three months ago I made my first video about African violets and other genariates, the new beginnings, and today I wanted to provide you with an update. First I'll show you the plants that I received with, at my local club, the Thousand Oaks African Violet Society, and here they are three months later. Let's start with the Apache Midnight leaf. So I received the leaf, uh, then it was just planted and it has been rather slow in pro producing babies because you can see um, it's been three months and we have two small uh, African violet babies here and it's Apache Midnight. They look nice and healthy and I'm hoping that both of them will grow into beautiful plants. Next one is Allegro Aspen Glow and it's just started its first bloom. It was a seedling at the time when I received it and it's grown. Uh, it's been on a week. All of them have been on weeks and uh, I've been feeding them a very low do dosage of African Violet fertilizer and keeping them under the LED lights on my light stand. So here it is up close. It's very pretty. It's pink uh, with some purple variegation <clears throat> on the purple fantasy rather on the petals and it's probably gonna be a large standard. Next one is Inner Strength it, and it's this beautiful plant it's not blooming yet. It's started to give me uh, started to give me the uh, first um, buds, so it will be blooming soon. It still has its baby leaves, which I probably need to be removing at some point, because I think at, at this point, when it grows into a, um, um, adult rosette or maturing rosette, the baby leaves I believe need to be removed. So I will have to take care of it later. This one produced a few suckers so I've been removing them and it was hard for me to distinguish between the uh, blooming stalk um, and the, the sucker because the blooming stems have the leaflets um, I forgot bro I forgot what they're called there is a name for them but those tiny little leaves here at the main joint and so it was hard for me to discern but I had to pay attention whether there is a, a bud forming in the center between those two leaflets to make sure that it was not a sucker so I will keep you updated on this one once it starts blooming I don't see the leaf variegation quite yet. This one has variegated leaves, but there's pale, pale green um, around each leaf, and I'm, I'm assuming as the plant matures, it will have true var variegation on the leaves. So the next one is Allegro Moon Memories, and this has been the most prolific bloomer. So it's now having its first true blooming cycle and I am so happy to observe it and I will make a separate video just to feature this particular plant and review um, this violet. It's really, really pretty. It's a compact rosette, very pretty heart-shaped leaves and um, lavender purple pansies of like cornflower shade of blue which um, I don't know if the camera um, if camera translates uh, the true color but it's really 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 pretty I'm very happy seeing it bloom this was uh, Allegro Moon Memories and then the last violet I had uh, in that first um, club meeting was a frosty cherry and um, it was a rosette it was a crown that I received at that time and it bloomed for me really nicely and I have a video 
reviewing that violet on my channel, Frosty Cherry African Violet Review. And then afterwards, um, it developed some strange symptoms in the center of the crown that made me concerned about um, possibly some either mites infection or maybe some virus going on or maybe I just over fertilized it or maybe I over watered it. I didn't even know what was going on and here is a picture of what the crown looked like in the center. And so uh, because I was concerned, I decided to err on the safe side, and so I saved some good leaves. There's quite a few of them, and I uh, potted the individual leaves. Um, frosty cherry here on May the 10th, and then um, the main plant went to African Violet Heaven. Uh, I decided to be safe and make sure that other violets um, don't, you know, it, it, to spare the other violets from possible damage if there's something wrong going on with the frosty cherry. And then I had two other plants, a streptocarpus and a cholaria. So let's start with streptocarpus. Let me get it for you. And so here is this beauty streptocarpus dale, dale's polar lava and it's having the first bloom fully open and it is just spectacular the way the leaves shape and it has variegated foliage and there's more flower buds uh, coming out and it's been on a week just like my violets and it's just um, been a very happy plant. I'm, I'm very happy about it. Here it is and here's the flower up close. I, I believe it's truly beautiful, very, very pretty. So that was a Streptocarpus Dale's Polar Lava. And the last but not least, um, let me get it for you. It's the Choleria Ingrid. And um, this plant started with a very, very small plantlet that I received which grew uh, on a week as well, grew into a very tall, very tall plant in these three months with big leaves. The leaves, uh, I kept it on under regular lights and then transferred it to sunlight, um, well, eastern window with uh, sheer curtains and the leaves uh, were drying out. So I, I wasn't sure if that's the proper care for it that I provided. Um, so I need to maybe read up on this and because it was growing so tall and not blooming um, In the May during the May uh, club meeting I asked what to do about it and they said oh no you should have pinched it pinched the top of it and so I decided okay I will just cut it Cut the top off and you can see that there is a uh, bloom buds are shaping already at the top and so I just did it yesterday and I put it on a wick as well here and just on the same fertilizer. Well, actually right now it's a regular water. I'll put it on a fertilizer re regimen in about a month once it's fully rooted. So it's been rooting right now and we'll see what happens. It has really pretty blooms and I really hope to see it bloom once it's been rooted and I hope to get some blooms of the mother plant um, but so far it's been just uh, growing and adjusting um, so during these three months I also was getting more violets um, from other vendors and uh, during other club ruffles and uh, I went to a couple of shows um, and Palos Verdes in March and just uh, last week last weekend in Descanso Garden um, so I got a few plants there and let me show you what is in bloom just a few of them of what is in bloom right now and uh, yeah and all together I got about maybe 
50 to 60 varieties at this point and I I have started to sl slowing down because I uh, realized that I need to learn more about the plants and just um, make sure that whatever, whichever violets I have now um, are happy and uh, grow to their fullest potential and um, I think 50 to 60 varieties uh, maybe 70 probably would be um, the top that I can have at this point and here are just a few varieties that are currently in bloom um, so just wanted to give you a quick look on on these so this is um, another violet that I got in my club, club ruffle it's called splendiferous by Wetaker and it's kind of like a vintage older variety and I'm super thrilled about the way it's been um, growing and blooming for me it's its first full bloom right now and here's the flower flowers close up it's really pretty and I'll be making an individual review on this one today as well the next one is Ness Set and Rose this is a semi miniature I got it from an eBay seller and I've been really really happy about having it and I just recently replanted it into a slightly larger pot and it just keeps blooming and forming more bud, buds um, to bloom um, to continue blooming Ness Set and Rose next one is Optimara Yellowstone this is a big big violet and um, I have a few babies from this one already producing from the leaves it's a double blue with white edge and it's a very prolific bloomer as you can see how many buds uh, still are going on and it's uh, just started opening up its beautiful beautiful flowers here this here is the close up for you the next one that is in full bloom is Optimara Texas 2 I believe they add the uh, Roman numeral 2 to this one um, it's really really pretty and it has stick tight um, bloom stalks it's a blue frilled pansy and it, the, the depth of the color is really really um, uh, pretty and, and it's, it really draws your attention instantaneously when you look at this violet I believe it's, it's very pretty it's a smaller size standard if you compare the Optimara Yellowstone here they are side by side and they're about the same age and look at the difference in size so this is Optimara Texas and the last but not least is Buckeye Seductress and this is its second bloom I received it I bought it at the Palos Verdes African Violet show in March it's been two months and it's its second bloom and it's variegated leaves and um, lavender double with wide a uh, white uh, band around the petals here is the close-up for you and I believe it also has some green edge around the petals um, very pretty I really like it and also it has it just started the second blooming cycle so it has a lot of buds um, coming out and I'm looking forward to more blooms and I will be producing reviews of each individual variety so uh, stay tuned for my future updates thank you very much for watching